So today I'm going to share a technique with you to do backgrounds. Um, what I've taken is <laughs> some watercolour paper. This is just cheap watercolour paper that I get from my local Kmart store and it's like $2 and you get 24 pages and it's really good. It, it doesn't warp as much as some of the other papers. Um, and as you can see I've kind of coloured that in randomly um, and gone quite thick with water so Okie dokie. I'm trying to practice how to colour, so that's what that was. Okay, what I'm going to use is a ton of Linty Stamp Gang sprays. I'm going to use Whale Watch Glue, Glossom Gold, uh, Shabby Turpentine Teal, which is these colours here. And I've cut my papers to 15 by 10 and a half. So 15 that way and 10 and a half that way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some clean film, um, just clean film from your kitchen. Cling wrap, as some people call it. Just this. And I'm going to show a technique. With this technique, you have to use um, sprays that have like a good or two of them, um, if not Lindy's, like Tattered Angels. Um, things like that that would have like a glimmer mist base to them, a bit of glimmer. You couldn't use like um, Dilusions or I'm trying to think off the top of my head, maybe Tim Holtz or if you added like just a pearlescent shimmer over the top you could do it I guess um, but you're probably better off just going with something that has colour and shimmer in it so I've gone from the starburst sprays and the moon shadow mists I'm just going to lightly do it and I'm going to mist with water over all my sheets I might just do one that's a nail probably shouldn't have wet them all but anyway so you guys can see a bit better ok I'm just mist Okay, I've just taken a board because I'm not going to be heat setting it. It really doesn't matter that it's not on a proper mat. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking my sprays. And I'm just going to kind of drip over the top. Making sure you've really mixed them ahead of time. Not like I have. <laughs> you know, I'm just hopeless. let it kind of run over the paper and then I'm just going to take some whale watch blue again from Lindy's and I'm going to shake it really vigorously to get that shimmer mixing you can see. then I'm going to take the Glossoma gold which is a walnut base with a gold shimmer I'm kind of just want it really light. Okay, and I'm kind of just going to mix it all around. Hopefully, you guys can see that. I'm just going to go in with that Sherpy Turpentine Teal again. Okay, next you're going to take your cling film and I'm going to put it. Oh, the light just went in it. Okay, we just want to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start wrinkling it all up underneath there. And I want some spray up there. I don't want any bits without spray. And I'm going to crinkle it all. And I'm going to leave that 24 hours the way it is with all the crinkles. No need to heat set it, just leave it as is. And the next technique I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper again and again using the same colours I'm going to spray. This time you probably need a mat that you're not Sprays. 
so you probably should put it on this map. Okay. And again some brown. This is a gorgeous brown. And again I'm just going to do some See that? And I'm going to go with some brown. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to take some salt. I've just got house table salt and some rock salt. The next one I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle some of that rock salt. Going sparingly as you guys can see. Okay. And then I'm going to go with some little salt. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And you can heat set this or you can keep to dry overnight. I've heard it's actually better to keep heat set, um, just keep naturally. But you can heat set. Okay. Just gonna let that move around. And I will be back when it's dry. Guys, it's me again. As you can see, it's dried now, and it's you can see big clumps. I guess you could keep it as is. Um, I would have put like a medium underneath if you're going to keep it like this, but as you can see, it's um, sucked up some of the color in spots. Okay, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to tap it because some of those pieces are just falling off by themselves. Brush it off to the side. Might just clean my mat quick. It would be better to dry naturally, but I didn't for this time. Um, I decided it would have been better to let dry naturally, but I was in a hurry and I wanted to show you guys the finished. Okay, so now we're going to do is you're going to run your finger over it. run the heat gun over it again. These oxidized and look at that gorgeous and you've also got a bit of texture where the little bits of salt have stuck. Isn't that awesome? That's smooth as there. 
Isn't that awesome? Love it. Just want to share with these guys, and I'll see you later.